Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jim started. I the, think the unbelievable. I think that this is should be Miss Olympia like this. It should be like this every year. Yes. When it has to be deserving like it was this year. Yes. You know. Have you have you ever thought Big Ramy place fifth? No. 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 We had our predictions. We did it. We did it last time. We had Rami first, no matter which way we put him. Everyone. We shuffled two to five, two to six. But Rami, no, 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 I can I can tell you no. It's it's unbelievable. Big Rami missed Olympia after three times, yeah? Yeah. After three times, three years. I mean I'm I can't I can't I can't say anything. Yeah. And and See when you oh. got when you got Esan stuttering, uh, <laughs> you know the, it's, the shock is real. But I will have to say this: it was not giving. It was not given to a lesser champion. Hadi Shupan, well deserved, you know. Finally, yes. Finally, finally, he get exactly what he wants. He he's standing exactly what he wants for years and years and years. And that that guy, Hadi Chupan, is so stubborn to work hard, dedication, and everything, everything. I mean, come on, he, he's standing behind the visa for three years until he comes to Miss Olympia, and he's standing for top three, top four for three years. And but remember, top three, top four. But he was always on point. He was always consistent. He was a people's champion. You know, what comes next for the people's champion if not being the champion himself? Exactly. You know, consistent, always in shape, always conditioned. Adi, whether he got fourth, whether he got third, always, always very appreciative. Yes, every, every people, all the bodybuilders, they believe he could be Mr. Olympia or he could be win. But can you believe that the trick lands for comes from 2 1 2? Crossover. Oh wow. my God. Now, that one, again, uh, I saw the big gains Derek Lumpster had throughout the year. I would have to say he was one of the most impressive gains throughout the year. And uh, 
to tell you the truth, I didn't think his muscle was going to be mature enough. But working with Hani, Hani's the magic man when it comes to this. I mean, Hani, he's, you say Hani Rambo, I have to say that. Honey Rambo cleaned the house 2022 Mr. Olympia. I mean, yesterday from the figure Mr. Olympia champion, today was for Chris Bumstead, a Honey Rambo first, Drake Lance for second. I mean, come on, man. This is just, uh, you know, Honey. I mean, man. I mean, talk about trainer of the year, you know, prep coach of the year. I mean, you name it, he's doing it. He can put his money where his mouth is. I mean, again, not taking credit away from any other coach, but I have to say, when Honey does it, he's doing it right, and uh, to do it with, you know, I have a the question. Wolf, I have a question. Crazy. I have a question for you. What's the Drake Lonsford needs to become a Mr. Olympia champion? I mean, Derek Lonsford has it all. He has the balance. He has the muscle bellies. It's round. It's beautiful. Ideally, I do like his shape better than, than the wolf, you know, Iranian wolf. But, you know, honey, you are the champion. You know, I bow down. We honor you. Congratulations, Iran. Celebrate him. You know, you created one of the best of the best. And he's Mr. Olympia. Your first Mr. Olympia to your country. But he's the, he's the first... Um, Mr. Olympia comes from the Middle East. Yes. Uh, this is the history. He's Historic. The, he's the first. He's the first Mr. Olympia from the area, which is the people so much appreciated for this sport. I mean, if you go, if you travel into Dubai, if you travel into Kuwait, you travel into uh, Iran, every corner is the gym. But, but I want to, I want to, I want to say something about from the third place and Nick Walker. Nick Walker, Nick Walker again. He was fifth last year. You know, it's not too shabby. Nick, I know Nick. You know what? Don't beat yourself up. He should be honored. He got that placing at the end of the day. I mean, damn, Nick, yeah. you won people's champion. I mean, you're climbing up the ladder. You're there. I, I will have to say you're one of the fastest growing since Flex Wheeler and then Phil Heath over the years, you know? He improved from last year to this year a lot, especially from the conditioning wise. Yes. Oh my God. And he put a lot of muscle, man. Yeah, a lot of muscle. Also, most improved, you know? And, uh, but what will you have to say about Big Rami? What wow. does he have to do to come back? Because I know you're not out, Big Rami. We love you. You know, the people love you. What will he have to do for him to what come back need? to that? What he need as a, as a, as a, as a Olympian champion, as a, as a competitor, as a as a athlete, what Big Rami need to become back again to be Big Rami? Just refine. You have enough muscle. Everybody knows Rami has enough muscle. He has That's why a, he's lot big muscle. a lot of he's muscle. He's Big Rami. <laughs> There's nothing else he can do to put on muscle. It's all there. Refine, refine, condition. And I wouldn't doubt he can come back and reclaim his title. Oh, really? You think so? I think so. I think he can. Wow. You know, and again, not disrespecting the champion. Yes. Yes. You know? But but I, I have to tell you something. This year, dark horses like a Drake Lonsford, which is jumping 2 1 2 to open. How and about Samsung? Samsung. 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 Wow. wow. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I'm happy for Samsung. You know why? He climbed up, he's been battling for years. Great shape, good balance, great poser on top of that. So, Samson, you know, celebrate you, big up to you. He is great. He's yes. moving up too. Yes. You know? And Andrew Jack. Andrew Jack, I, I will have to say he was most impressive. Most impressive. Great height, big muscle, balanced. Wow. Next year is going to be great because Andrew Jack is only going to get oh more Jack God. and better, <laughs> more refined. Work on those weak points again, but he was Mr. Olympia status. You know, he belong up there. He belong up there. He did it great. He's working with the George Fire. I was yes. talking to George Fire and I said, 
are you happy with his place? He said, I'm, I'm happy. It's the first Mr. Olympia for him. He get the exactly what he did, but next year it's not like this. Yes. So what do you think about next year for Andrew Jack? What what do you what do you prediction for Andrew Jack for next year? What he get placed? No, Andrew Jack, he's the I think he definitely creep up in the top six. You know, again, this is his first Olympia, which is really not bad at all, his placing. He just has to work on those weak points. I would have to say only the hamstring glue area. It's not that bad, man. It's not that bad. But when it comes to the Olympia, everything has to be perfect. Uh, Mr. Olympia 2022, excited things come back to this stage. Yes. To the audience, everyone was happy. And we're back in Vegas. Yes, back and back Vegas. to Vegas too. Yes. Back to Vegas too. So I think this is the this is the change of the group of the champion of Mr. Olympia. Changing of the guards. Changing, Changing of the guards. guards. Changing yes. the guards. You know, you pass a few times, yeah. you know? Yes. You pass you a know. few times. So you think next? Well, I believe well, the next only year. one that held it this year was what? Seabum. See, exactly. Seabum's the only one. Yes. He held his own, kept it. I mean, all champion change. There was, I you mean, said, that wasn't really. A, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, um, I really wanted Rough Diesel, you know. Yes. To really, um, you know, get up there. But you know what? This was. Uh, I think William was good. I mean, all of. All of the athletes on the stage was good. It was so close. It was so close. As you can see, predictions mean nothing. We did call the top six, though. Yes. They call the top six. Not in our order, but they were top six. And, uh, man, next year is going to be great. Looking forward to it. I cannot uh, wait. I cannot wait. I back in to, Orlando, though. I have to back. Oh, really? Yeah, back in Orlando. Mr. Olympia, back to Orlando. Back in Orlando. Okay, guys. But, uh, I really feel and I think that Olympia belongs in Vegas. That's just my opinion. Yes, me What too. do you guys think? And, what do you uh, think Olympia come to New York? Why come? Whoa, why man. Mr. Olympia not bring come it, to New bring York? Bring it like 98. Yes. Bring like 98. Yes. Uh, to wrap uh, it up, what do you want to say? You know, to the fans, to everybody. I mean, Planet Hollywood. What do you think? I mean, I mean, amazing, amazing. Better, better than uh, uh, 2019. Yes. Venue was nice. You know, everything was nice. Dan Salomon knows exactly what they do yes. for this sport, and exactly uh, we need such a people like a Dan Salomon to yes. breathe in and take care of this sport and take care of athletes too. Yes. And I cannot wait for the next Mr. Olympia. I have to book in my ticket and yes. hotel for next year. Yes. Oh my God. Is it same December? Uh, next I, I year? think they're moving it up. Uh, I think one month sooner. November. I think November. Yes. You know, and uh, it's going to be in Orlando again. You know? Yes, yes, yes. And Expo back too. Expo was. I think Orlando's great. You know, yeah. Orlando's great because the athletes get to uh, not deal with the hustle and bustle of Las Vegas lights. You know, cigarettes, uh, gambling, liquor, you know, but at the end of the day, we are all professionals. This would not deter us. That's why these athletes are the best in the world. And uh, Steve Weinberger, you made history being, you know, being at the helm as a judge. Uh, you know, Jake Wood, man, he's changing. He's continuing the legacy of the Weeder family to be Mr. Olympia on this stage yes, and uh yes. man you know what everybody thank you for joining us you know um what do you what what do you uh, this is this is the last word i want to i want to you say a last word to Holly Chupon for the next year what he need for the next year to be his career the championship for the second time Adi, your head is on right. You can see it by the words he said, by his dedication. This is an unselfish man. He won the biggest award of his life. And what does he do? He dedicates it to the women of Iran. And uh, man, how you not gonna love this guy? You know, so Adi, you know what you're doing. You have the coach on your side, honey. I think you have good guidance. I won't doubt him. Yeah, I won't doubt him. Just stay consistent. Don't go crazy. Represent the title right, like you. I know you will. 
And uh, other than that, you know, the guys right behind you, you know, Samson, you know, Nick. So many people, yeah. Yeah, Derek, these guys are right there. Stand and, by. Uh, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> just keep pushing, guys. For the uh, guys that didn't place, you know what? Now you know what you're going to mess with. Exactly. Okay, guys, this is... Generation that Iron. Was, that was 2022 Mr. Olympia. We are in the Wigos. Uh, right now, I believe, what time is it? I don't have watch. Oh, it's uh, one o'clock. One o'clock, and then yeah. everyone goes so to go <laughs> to party and sleeping for a flight tomorrow. Party, being up, busted <laughs> hips, heels, you know, <laughs> you name it. But uh, thank you for joining us, Generation Iron Podcast, Mr. Olympia Recap. Until next week. Yes, or next year. Peace. <laughs>